Okay, so now we're gonna go through one of the fun parts, socializing your puppy. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take you through a few of the fundamentals of how to create control between two dogs. So they understand that when there's an interaction, that you're in control, you're in charge of what's happening. Most people, they have their puppy and they wanna socialize. They bring in another puppy and they just let them play. They let them rumble, they let them jump on top of each other. Now, even though they're puppies, they're still doing dominant behaviors. And typically, people don't want their dogs learning dominant behaviors. So we need to teach them the rules and boundaries between each other and how to show each other respect. We're gonna bring the dogs together now. And I like to do this on leash, just to give us a bit more control. So the dogs can't run off and we can control where their heads go and, and what they're doing. So I'll bring the dog in. Now, what I like to do is go bum to face, bum to face, let them smell each other. So I'm controlling these interactions. Now, what I don't want to allow is for a dog to put anything over the top. So if one dog jumps onto another dog, I need to be able to disagree. And the way I'm going to do that is just with a little touch. But I also want the dogs to feel good about what's happening. If I get them to back off and relax, I can also do affection at the same time because this should be more of a relaxed interaction than an overexcited, which you'll see most dogs when they come together, they're overexcited. And with overexcitement, typically you get anxiety. And when a dog's anxious, they can't really think properly. So when a dog becomes overexcited and anxious, sometimes you might get aggression, sometimes you might just get too much tension, and that's when one of the dogs can get snappy. And they can also give off the wrong signals to each other. So if one dog's really tense, then the other dog will get tense and they can infect each other with energy until it escalates to a point where they're very difficult to control. So if we establish what we want from the beginning, then we just get a lot of ease. When we've gone through all of that and the dogs are much more relaxed and you can see that they're chilled out, this is always a good time to end because how you finish will be more how you'll begin the next time. So if you finish when they're still a bit too excited, you'll notice they'll still be a bit overexcited next time you come together. So you always wanna finish in a really positive, relaxed manner. Another thing to watch out for is when the dogs are interacting with each other, they can spread parasites to one another. So for more information, go to dogbehaviorspecialist.com.au, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe.